Welcome, let's discuss the idea of side-side-side similarity theorem. So let's consider the triangle on the left, ABC, with those given angle measurements. So what will happen if we create a replica of this triangle? Let's call that triangle EFG. Now let's think about this in terms of scale factors. What we did, we got triangle ABC, and we multiply by a scale factor of 1 to obtain triangle EFG. We can claim that these two triangles are similar to each other. Notice that the interior angles do not change in measurement. And then in addition, the sides are still proportional to each other. AB is proportionally to EF by a scale of 1. AC is proportional to EG by a scale of 1 as well. And BC is proportional to FG by a scale of 1 as well. Now let's copy triangle ABC one more time. But now let's shrink this triangle by 75%. If you want to think about this in terms of scale factors, we got triangle ABC and we multiply by a scale factor of 3 over 4. Notice that when we shrink this triangle, the measurement of the interior angles did not change. And because we multiply by a scale factor, then all the sides of these triangles, they remain in proportion. AB is still proportional to HI by three fourths. AC is proportional to HJ by three fourths as well. And BC is proportional to IJ by three fourths as well. So therefore, we can claim that these two triangles are still similar. Let's replicate another triangle ABC, but now let's scale it down by a factor of one half. If we want to think about this in terms of scale factors, we got triangle ABC and we multiply it by a scale factor of one half. And notice that the interior angles still have the same measurement. And in addition, those sides are still proportional to each other. AB is proportional to KJ, AC is proportional to KM, and BC is still proportional to LM. Notice that the interior angles are congruent and the sides are proportional to each other. Then we can claim that these two triangles are similar to each other. Let's copy another triangle ABC, but now let's shrink it by a scale factor of one quarter. Let's call this triangle OPQ. If you want to think about this in terms of scale factors, what we did, we got triangle ABC and we multiply by a scale factor of one quarter. Notice that the measurement of the interior angles did not change. And then in addition, because all sides were multiplied by the same factor, then the sides are still in proportion. AB is proportion to OP by one quarter, AC is proportional to OQ by one quarter, BC is proportional to PQ by one quarter as well. Because all angles are congruent and all sides are proportional, then we can say that these two triangles are similar to each other. And this is the idea behind the side-side-side similarity theorem. Given any two triangles, if you're able to show that all sides are proportionally to each other, then the interior angles will never change in measurement. Therefore, you can claim that you have two similar triangles. So let's write down our conclusion. Given two triangles, If all corresponding sides are proportional, then we can conclude that the triangles are similar to each other. And the idea behind it is if all corresponding sides are proportional to each other, then all corresponding angles are congruent to each other.
And by definition, if all sides are proportional and all interior angles are congruent, then the figures are similar. Therefore, we can conclude that we have two similar triangles. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.